Boxing is a beautiful sport, and over its long history, it's given us some of the greatest boxers, but time is one thing that isn't on our side, and for all will eventually endure the moment when they need to exit the game. But in some cases, the transition into retirement isn't quite as smooth as we think. And in this video, we'll show you a few shocking examples. But before we do, like and subscribe. Thanks. Eric El Terrible Morales Eric fought between 1993 and 2012 with a boxing record of 61 fights, winning 52 and losing 9. Now this is not going to be good for Daniel. Morales landing the right hand at will. Eric is known as a boxing legend to most. In 2018, he was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame after a legendary fight against Manny Pacquiao, which was one of the greatest fights in boxing history. Morales chases him across the ring and says, let's fight, and fires a right hand to the body after landing two upstairs. He was a worthy representative of the Mexican style in the ring, as he usually gives hard punches to his opponents. It all started from the end of 2004 to 2007, where he suffered terrible losing streaks. He lost five fights and had one victory, which seemed to be the end of an outstanding career for him. But two and a half years later, he came back to the boxing ring, which went well, but there was a bit of a problem. Morales' age became visible in a fight against the WBC and WBA champion Danny Garcia in October of 2012. During the fight, his opponent was much faster and much more functional. Man, who you'd anticipate being the fresher man. Oh, great right hand! Terrific! However, his opponent was 10 years younger, so Morales lasted just four rounds in his last fight. He was knocked down by Danny Garcia, and after the fight, he announced his retirement from the ring. Ricky the Hitman Hatton Ricky Hatton fought between 1997 and 2012, totaling a boxing record fight of 48 bouts, thereby boasting 45 wins and 3 losses. Ricky fought at light welterweight and welterweight and was one of the most famous British boxers to compete. He fought many great opponents like Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao and his most outstanding achievement came in June 2005 where he defeated Costa Zou and won the IBF title, a fight that ended Costa's career. Can't afford even the slightest mistake. That's when Zhu strikes swiftest and hardest. But in 2009, he endured a crushing defeat to Manny Pacquiao and left boxing for three years at the end of 2012. He later returned to the ring because he realized they had something left to prove. In September 2012, Hatton's opponent was a Ukrainian boxer, Vyacheslav Sinchenko. It was a 10 round fight, and Hatton was knocked down in the ninth round with a powerful body shot. It's caught with the right hand. There's a left hook and a left upstairs by Hatton. Left hook and down goes Hatton. And later announced his retirement from boxing. Arturo Thunder Gatti. Arturo fought between 1991 and 2007 and was highly popular back in the early years. Pull back. Yep. And was caught by the end of a hook. And you know, that same punch that he landed there, he's landed in so many. He was known for fighting to the very end and dedicating himself wholeheartedly to the ring. He's regarded as one of the best warriors in boxing history and his legendary trilogy with Mickey Ward was one we'll never forget. However, his outstanding career came to an end in July 2007 when he met Alfonso Gomez, only to get TKO'd by Gomez. After the fight, Gaddy announced his retirement in the dressing room. It was after retiring that Gaddy was found dead in a condo in Brazil whilst on vacation with his family. It was supposedly a suicide, but there seemed to be a lot of suspicion considering it a murder by his wife. Michael Spinks American former professional boxer Michael Spinks, born July 13, 1956, competed from 1977 to 1988. He held world championships in two weight classes, including the undisputed light heavyweight title from 1983 to 1985 and the lineal heavyweight title from 1985 to 1988. As an amateur, he won a gold medal in the middleweight division at the 1976 Summer Olympics. After a successful amateur career, which culminated in his Olympic gold medal win, Spinks went undefeated in his first 31 professional fights, beating Dwight Muhammad Cowie, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, Marvin Johnson, and Eddie Davis en route to becoming the undisputed light heavyweight champion. 
Michael Spinks retired from boxing one month after he was knocked out in 91 seconds by heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. This is the first time Michael Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down again and in serious. The fight between Spinks and Mike Tyson took place in June 1988 with Tyson knocking Spinks down twice. Vicious shots to the body. Nothing really heavy landing yet, but he's taking them. The uppercut. Body shot. Down goes. On his way to a first round knockout. During the fight, Spinks looked devoid of self confidence as the introductions began, and when he shuffled about his corner with the demeanor of a man that would be hoping he would soon wake up and realize this was all just a terrible dream. While Tyson bounced around loosely and hyperactively like a kid on Christmas morning, Spinks appeared swaddled in a robe that he eventually shed with a reluctant acceptance that this was happening. Spinks earned $13.5 million against Tyson and over $25 million for his career and retired with a 31-1 record and 21 knockouts.